Hi guys, I'm back. So my chicken is done. Um, so we had an issue because when I put it on the crock pot, I forgot to turn it on. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I turned it on, it wasn't plugged in. So I tried to let it cook, but um, I asked my nephew to put it in the oven if it looked like it was gonna take a while and it did. So he threw it in the oven for me and he put it at 425 and let it cook for probably about an hour, I would say. You can cook it in the crock pot if you're gonna make it ahead of time, like that morning or, um, which is probably best. Uh, I just didn't have time this morning to do it. So, um, if you don't have time, like I didn't, you can put it in a full pan, put it in the oven, and it should be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna shred up the chicken, and I have my pasta ready and my broccoli's going too. All right. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall because it's not on here very securely, but hopefully it won't. All right. So this is the chicken. This is kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks gooey-ish and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and shred not so high, but try to shred up the chicken. You want to be careful because that juice will spin out a little bit. If you want to, you could shred it um, with forks or you can also do um, leave out some of the juice. That way it's not splashing you like it just did me. Normally it's pretty easy to shred it like this, but it's not wanting to do right now. And I just try to get on a piece of chicken. And it's on low. Normally I, when I shred it by itself, it's um, I'm going on high. I know it's kind of late guys, I'm sorry. If you like your chicken a little bit more chunkier, then don't shred it as much. Like right now, it's it's got some pretty good sizes and little sizes in there, which is good. So I'm probably going to leave it right there. Alright, let's move that to the side. And this was one box of pasta that I'm just going to dump in here. And then what I did was instead of cooking the broccoli or having to, um, <clears throat> having to cook it in a different pan, I just threw my frozen broccoli, well, I let it sit out for a little bit, so it wasn't completely frozen. It was thawed out a little bit, but I put my broccoli in the water that I boiled my pasta in. So I'm just going to scoop it out and throw it in here. And this was one, how big is that bag of bro broccoli, Arjun? So I threw the, this is two pounds of broccoli. My family actually does love broccoli, so, and the elbow uh, pasta, they were either open or like, the elbow pasta like, was one pound. So like I said, this is, I did double it, but if you're going to do, um, just for, just for one family, you can, uh, do half of the pasta if you don't want to use all that pasta. I would still probably use about a pound of pasta. So I'm going to just stir this. What? I'm doing, uh, RJ. Yeah, and like I said add-ins you can do broccoli you can do you can probably even do spinach or um, corn any kind of vegetable that your family likes and I put it in this bowl just because I was gonna use that mixer so I'm just trying to get all the pasta 
in that sauce. Can you give me a cheese, son? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And y'all know me, I like my taco blend cheese. This is the only one I actually buy because um, I just like, because it's got that little bit of seasoning in there that I like. If I can open it. So the kids went trick-or-treating and um, we're checking their candy and I would think that's always important to check your kids candy even though it's a good neighborhood or it's friends I still kind of just go through it just make sure like Cheyenne she has nut allergies so we, we just want to make sure she's good and doesn't eat something that she shouldn't so I put probably about a cup or half a cup of cheese just to mix in and then I'm probably gonna put a little bit more on top you can throw this in the oven if you want to, if you have it in a baking dish, and um, bake it just a little bit so that cheese can get melted on in there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this is that cracked chicken with broccoli and macaroni pasta, elbow pasta. And that's done. What was that? so that's our dinner for tonight guys so I'm still trying to get used to this camera thing but that's um, so basically I added two pounds of broccoli one pound of uh, pasta and it was two blocks of cream cheese four and a half pounds of chicken and two packages of like the ranch seasoning and then as I said before I use a little bit of this seasoning which is a garlic onion black pepper and sea salt by McCormick and that's pretty much it that's our dinner for tonight guys thank you for joining me back um, I'm gonna post this with the recipe on my YouTube channel if you haven't gone and subscribed I would appreciate it if y'all could because I'm trying to get on there as much as I can and try to do live on there thank you guys for watching Hi, Linda. Hi, Maria. I don't know who else is on, but thanks, guys, and y'all have a good night. Bye.